Um, I'm basically going to show you a PowerPoint presentation and then quickly afterwards, maybe I'll just go live on the website to show you basically how a website looks like and some of the things that I've talked about in the PowerPoint presentation. So let's start this morning. OK, our library services at the moment um, is um, not the same as it used to be with this COVID and this library protocol, the protocols, COVID protocols that we have to follow. The um, library hours have changed for the Medicine and Health Sciences Library. At the moment, it's from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And while previously in previous years, you can just um, come to the library, but for now you need to make an appointment. So until further notice, the libraries may only be visited in person by appointment only. What you also can do is you can, if you need a book, you can request a book via pickup service, or you can book a visit to the library where you want to use a computer or just for studying purposes. Um, all our other services are continuing online. Um, to book a visit, it's normally on the website. You will see like here, it will come up as book a visit. You can just click on it. Or these other ways where you can um, uh, book a visit. We have quick links where you can get to. I will show you that um, when you go to our live session. So um, with for the Medicine and Health Sciences Library, you can either book a computer or you can book a seat with your own device that you're bringing, or you can just um, book um, the library for to do print, copying or scanning. The Medicine Health Sciences Library, as you come in opposite the um, landing desk, we have a interactive floor plan. So if you don't know where is what in the library, you can use that by clicking on this um, plan and it will show you which is where in the library. Then we use the library website to access um, academic information for assignments or for essays. The library's website you'll find at https library.sun.ac.za or if you go in via my son, if you click under studies, you will also find a link to the library on there. On the library website, we also have off-campus um, electronic access. A lot of the students, the undergraduates, are still um, maybe studying from home. They're doing um, offline or what you said, online classes. So they're basically offline, off campus. So what you do when you offline and you are to access like our ebooks or our e-resources, you have to basically sign in. Then you sign in with your username and password that you have. Then you'll be able to have full access to all the electronic resources that the library subscribes to. Then just um, a look at the library's website. If you have an assignment, you're looking for a specific book, you can use our Sun Search option. Um, on the website, you can just enter the words or the title. You can use um, the author or you can use, uh, browse by subject if you don't know the specific title. If you have the title, you can just um, put it in here, like in this case, ABC van gerechtelijke geneeskunde, and you can search for the specific book. Yeah, I've searched for this book and I get this option. It says it's available at a few libraries. It's available at main campus and it's also available here at the Medicine and Health Sciences Library. Then we just want to show you more about the library's website. Um, 
once you've searched for a book and you get your result, you have the option to refine your results. You can do that by format. You can do it by the subject content. You can do it by language, or you can just select full text, or you can select the library. Like in this case, if you only want to take a look at books that's available at Medicine and Health Sciences Library, you can select it and you can apply the filters there. I just want to show you also if you have searched for a book and you get the result, and sometimes it shows here there are three versions of the same record. Then if you click on all versions, see all versions, it will give you all the editions of the specific book. Sometimes you get ebooks and it will show you that um, whether there's an ebook or not. Um, in this case, like this book is checked out from the Medicine and Health Sciences Library. What do you do in that case? If you click there and once you've signed in, you can click on the request where you can request the specific. What we do is if it's out, we'll put a reservation for you and once it's available, we will send you an email to say that this book um, is available now for you. Then when we have an ebook available, it will show us this as online access. You just click on that and online access, it will take you to the link where you can view the um, electronic book. This is basically how it looks like when you are um, looking for an ebook and you've opened the ebook. You will see your PDF full text and it will give you all the table of contents here, the chapters. You can click on it and you should be able to access the ebook. And then I want to speak about borrowing from other libraries. If you're looking for a book and we don't have that specific book, or that book is maybe out for a long time, then we can request the book via interlibrary loans from other universities. Um, or if a book is out and you want to, in any case, book it, you can also make use of this interlibrary loan service, or if it's an article that you need, the article is not available, you can also use this interlibrary loan service. It's just a form that you need to complete on our website. So you just click here on interlibrary loans, and you will get this form which you have to submit. The only thing you have to change here is your pickup location and your pickup location is going to be medicine and health sciences. Um, and then you just click on submit. We'll get your form, we'll search for the book or the article and we'll let you know immediately um, when it's available. For interlibrary loan requests, you must at least allow four working days for us to process your request. For especially for our first years in the library, you'll find books and you'll find academic journals, Tidescrifter, which is more current academic articles in there. Um, books normally have an ISBN number and the journals normally have ISSN numbers. At the moment, um, students can't go to the shelves to look for books themselves. That's why you need to use the request pickup service. You can search for the book online. And once you find the book that you need, you can um, do that request to pick up the book and we'll search for the book and we'll let you know when it's available. When you do your assignment and you've used books and if you or you've used an article, it's um, good practice to reference that book or that article that you've used and um, this is basically to prevent plagiarism. On our website we have a lot of information available about referencing and also about plagiarism. I'll show you afterwards quickly we do find that information. Then we also have um, available when you search for basically for articles, our e databases. 
then not everyone might know what is a database, especially our first years. A database is an electronic index to journal or magazine articles. It contains citations, abstracts, and often full text articles or links to the full text articles. So if you have an assignment like what are the trends and challenges in occupational therapy, um, you can use our electronic databases to search for that um, specific um, articles. Then if you go to the electronic databases, in this case, I'm clicking on the P for PubMed. PubMed is the biggest databases for the health sciences. Um, there are other databases for the health sciences, medicine and health sciences that you can use, but PubMed is basically the biggest database for the health sciences. If you search on PubMed, um, this is basically the PubMed um, page where you can search. Um, we also offer group trainings um, for this literature searching. If you don't know how to search, um, you can request a group training session and we'll show you basically how, how to do your searches on PubMed or any other database that you um, want to search. Okay, once you've searched the databases and you find information on the articles you need, sometimes there are free full text articles on PubMed, sometimes articles are not free full text. Then you need to locate that articles and one of the things you can use is basically our e-journals where you can search whether the library is subscribed to that specific journals in which your article is published. So if you, in this case also, you search via e-journals or you even search Google Scholar and you're looking for the articles, if it's not available, again, use our interlibrary loan services. I've shown you where you um, could find that form afterwards. Then also for more help to students, we have our library guides which you'll also find on the library's website on the main page. Just see your library guide, you can just click on it and it will open a long list of library guides. It's in alphabetical form. This is basically how it will look like. Um, there's two guides that will be especially of interest to you that I want to pay your attention to. The one is find, access and use information effectively. This is the step-by-step -step guide. So if you click on this guide, you will get a lot of information here, like how to start out with your assignment, how to find information, evaluate information, even referencing you'll find here. So you can just click on this link and it will give you more information. The next guide I want to put your attention to is a guide specifically for the medicine and health sciences library. You can click on there and you'll also find information in these links over here. There you can see here, especially there's e-databases for the medicine and health sciences library. So if you don't know exactly what databases to search on, you can click on this link and it should you give you specific databases for the medicine and health sciences library. more information or help that you'll find on the library's website. If you click under learning, at the bottom you'll find this training tutorial and videos. There's a lot of videos. If you click on the one, it will give you more different videos. I can show you afterwards that you can use to help you with your um, searches for academic articles. We have a service that you call also Ask a Librarian on the website. Under help, you'll find Ask a Librarian. If you have trouble and the library is not open, you can't get to the library, you can use the service Ask a Librarian and the librarian will get back to you. Another help for um, students, undergraduate guide we have there that is also under using the library. You will find an other undergraduate guide 
it will tell you about the access to the library or your borrowing privileges and that kind of thing. Then the Medicine and Health Sciences Library have a few faculty librarians that's available to you if you need some help. I will also show you where you can find their details and where you can email them or even make an online appointment with your faculty librarian. We also have some assistance in the library, which will help you at the main desk or with interlibrary loans. They are our client services and the circulation staff, and they're also available to assist you whatever help you need. Are there any questions so far that you would like to ask before we um, go over to our library website where I will show you some um, a way to find what on the library's website? No questions? Okay, let me go over to the library's website. Okay, so this is basically how the library's website looks like. Like I said, if you go to sun.acerit.sun, library at sun.acerit.zeta, you should find um, the library's website, or you can go through my son under studies, you'll find the library's link. So, um, as I said, you can book a visit to the library, where you find that. I know there's a link, book a visit. So if you click on book a visit, it will open this link and then we have an online booking system. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but here's the details for the medicine and health sciences library. So if you want to book a computer, if you want a separate seat, you click there. If you just want to come to the library to print, copy and scan, you can click there, then you need to choose your dates and the time that you want to use or access the library. You'll also find this link under using the library. You can see there, just go down. Book a visit or seat in the library. So it's there also. Let me just go back to the main page. We were talking about the off-campus access. So if you want to read more about the off-campus access, you'll find it here under quick links. Is again, book a visit, seat or computer to the library that you'll find there. And also the interlibrary request form that I spoke about. If you click there, You will get this interlibrary loan request form on top. If it's a book, thesis or chapter, you complete the details there. If it's a journal article you need, you can just complete this details. Then at the bottom, your pickup location. If you're going to pick it up here by us, you choose medicine and health sciences library and you submit your this form. We will search for the article or book and get back to you as soon as we receive this book or article. More under quick links. There's an option if you have books out, you can renew your own books. There's also, this will take you, I think, to the guide under referencing. If you have problems with referencing, you don't know how to reference, you can use um, this link over here. And then under services, we have the services for undergraduate. If you want to know what all your, um, what you can do, what your um, amount of books is that you can take out, your access and that, um, you can read this undergraduate guide. 
Also on here, we have a lot of webinars that's available, like you've registered for this one. You can just um, click on these links or our training calendar over here, and then you can book for yourself um, for one of those webinar sessions. I've spoken about our e-databases where we search for articles and PubMed. Where do you find that? If you go to find, there's the e-databases. Electronic databases and it's basically from A to Z. This P and that was where I found PubMed. Then you go in and you do your searches over there. If I go back to the website, the library guides, where did I find that? On the website, you just click on these guides here and you'll find this um, alphabetical guide about um, the different library guides. The one that I showed you, find access and use information effectively, a step-by-step -step guide. You can click on that guide and access it. If you go further down, you'll find the guide for the medicine and health sciences. There's lots of other guides that will be of interest to you, like the reference guide. Referencing, you'll find that one also there. There's also the Ask a Librarian that I spoke about. If you click on Ask a Librarian, you can ask any question. Um, the librarian will get back to you, or you can go through this list of questions. Maybe the question you want to ask has already been answered, so you can go through this list of questions. And that is basically it for our website, unless you want me to um, answer any questions that you want. Now, I would like to encourage our participants to ask a questions that you might have. And um, yes, before we um, just thank her for this very informative session. Um, so any questions, you're welcome to, to use the chat um, box for that or just to raise your hand. OK, so it doesn't seem to be any questions. So th th OK, um, yes. just, a, just a warm um, thank you from um, our side for this very informative session um, that served as an overview and an introductory to the library website and how to find information. And um, yes, um, that is all from our side. And then um, uh, we hope that we will see you in the library soon. And thank you for attending. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.